All right, we're recording. So I'm going to start with some uh, announcements. Let's share screen real quick. I'm going to go over here to screen one. So hopefully you all see my PowerPoint screen. And um, I'll uh, also get this out to you as a PDF, and the links should be uh, clickable uh, once, uh, once you get them. If you're looking for mentors, uh, first thing, um, you know, make sure that your profile is set up on the first mentor network there. Uh, you can go into your dashboard and create, uh, a profile and in the profile, then once it's set up, you can, uh, you'll be visible your team will be visible and you can even put information on there, like what types of mentors you're looking for, uh, you know, mechanical engineering, coding, et cetera, or PR marketing. Then people who start signing up in and around your area, they they'll start to see your opportunities. And then within that um, system, you can um, match up and meet uh, meet these folks they can meet you without having to exchange personal emails or anything uh but then you can decide oh yeah please come out to a meeting learn a little bit more about the team one of the nice things about this system is that if you have any exterior uh, um, external sorry mentors that find you this way one thing you know right up front is that they have gone through first ypp so uh in order to have an individual profile on the first mentor network uh, people have to sign in and they have to actually create um, a profile and then go through YPP. Uh, now, of course, that doesn't mean that you all can't also, you know, uh, once you have them on, uh, if you brought them on board, of course, um, uh, have them go through your own background checks, screenings, et cetera. I'm sure many of you do. Uh, the next thing here, the Q&A is open. Uh, that is for FRC. Of course, the Q&A is a place where you can go and, and highly recommend you have students checking out the Q&A. Uh, put this back onto your students and say, hey, go to the Q&A, read, because teams will ask specific questions about the rules. And this is where FRC will uh, put their interpretations of those. You can subscribe for rules updates, by the way. Uh, that's what this link is right here. Uh, you have to be 18 years old to do this, but you can set up um, an email um, where you can um, sign up for updates. And so you'll get an email then when there's um, updates to the rules, which is weekly, by the way. Uh, some other announcements, uh, just as always, of course, our FRC events coming up this year, uh, the first championship uh, in uh, Houston, Texas. A few other announcements. Tallow, if you have not gotten this out to your students, this is a really great tool. It's uh, available to students um, in Indiana for free. And uh, first students, however, even have a, a, a even uh, more unique way of applying and setting up for Tallow. It is a, um, it's where they can set up a profile portfolio of experiences, classes, et cetera. They can apply to colleges through this. They can apply for internships and jobs. Um, and it, they can also, there's a very powerful scholarship search engine called RedKite that is tied to this. They can earn badges. And one of the things that our first scholarship providers tell us and have told me is that what they really love about like the badges and things like that is that they can actually go in and sort students by badges. And so a lot of the engineering schools that I've talked to that um, that go in through the back end of Tallow will sort by first participation. Uh, so when they start looking at potential applicants, because when a student says that they're interested in a certain school, that school can see them. Otherwise, they can't. Uh, it, and Tallow is not uh, a LinkedIn so it's not where students are gonna be connected to other students. It really is just students being then connected to potential uh, internships, uh, et cetera. Uh, educator summits. This is something new that we're doing this year. Uh, we're gonna be doing this at, at our first Tech Challenge State Championship. We're also gonna be doing this at all of our FRC events. 
this is going to be an opportunity and, and you'll have the links to all these. Uh, this is an opportunity for uh, administrators, counselors, uh, teachers to come to our events, one, get exposed to what you're doing, but, uh, and you yourselves if, as teachers, now this will be going on during competition. So if you're, you know, you may be a little bit too busy, uh, but if you have another educator on your team and, and wants to attend it, you can, uh, you can get PGP points for this. And these educator summits are going to be a two hour professional development opportunity to come learn about the new agile work profiler that's being used. It's the Indiana Career Explorer tool and schools uh, right now around the state are actually on the lookout for training on this platform because the state's rolled it out and your administrators, counselors can actually get come get this at no cost. Uh, and get some really great resources from us on this. And at the same time, come to a first event and learn a little bit more about um, the, uh, the connections between first and the agilities, um, et cetera. Uh, we are gonna be putting on, and there's more of these here. So all the educator, educator summits. Uh, this is gonna be really great because uh, the training that they're gonna receive is also, you know, going to be couched in this idea of then how do you how can you also be a champion for your first program in your school uh and then tonight our conversation uh very glad to have with us brad thompson uh brad is um a longtime uh mentor volunteer um on our board of directors uh, et cetera. Brad uh, is going to talk to us a little bit tonight about the playbook. Uh, Brad, I'll drop a link in the chat, but I'm sure you can also, if you want to share your screen or how are you going to do this? Um, and then we'll just kind of. Right. Cool. So <clears throat> we all know it's kind of hard to be a first mentor. There is a lot going on. There's a lot of stuff you got to know. Even those of us who have been doing this, been around the community for a dozen years or more, you know, we're always learning something. We're, we've got such a deep community here in Indiana of people that have been doing this for a really long time. And even some people that haven't been doing this for very long that have a lot of valuable knowledge that, that ends up just getting stuck in, in their heads, right? And some areas are a little better than others at building that community and sharing those resources. So a couple of years ago, um, we wanted to spin up something to, to enable some of those discussions and collaborations and sharing of resources. So the playbook is what we landed on. Share this. So, um, Playbook.firstindianarobotics.org, which Chris dropped a link in the chat to a bit ago as well. Um, this is intended to be a hub for people to, again, share resources, connect with each other, um, do lots of cool stuff. We're also using it for some volunteer and event information sharing as well, um, using it a little bit on the board of directors for some committee work just kind of as a central place for people to put stuff and share information and communicate with each other. Because um, it's really easy to start, oh, hey, here's some stuff in a Google Drive folder, and here's another Google Drive folder, and here's a Trello board, and here's a this, and here's a that. But the idea is this is a place where we can we can put links to all of those things or start moving some of that stuff into this platform so that it's all in one place. You don't have to go dragging all over the internet to find the stuff you're looking for. So this is a Moodle server. If you're from an educational background, you might've heard of Moodle before. It's an open source learning management system. So like Canvas or Brightspace or some of those other tools that are out there is what it's originally intended for. But it has a lot of the same structures and tools that make it really good for managing different groups of people trying to share different kinds of resources with each other. So in here right now, we've got a couple of different uh, systems kind of set up. So I have groups set up for like different regions across the state. So 
like I'm in the Lafayette area, so I have this set up a little bit. I have kind of taken ownership of this one. So here um, I've set up, we, we have a long-standing uh, group of us first people here in the area that get together and have dinner every Tuesday night. So information about when that is and where to find us, as well as, you know, we have a forum set up. So if people want to ask questions, they can get answers. Um, I have something similar set up for different regions across the state. I know Chris has had people up in the Hammond area get in here just a little bit. So they've got the questions and answer for them. They've got some discussion questions kind of started here. Um, again, not sure where everybody's from here, but if anybody wants to take advantage of this jump in take ownership of whatever your region happens to be i can get you set up so you can start posting and sharing things in there in addition to that it's not what i wanted to click we also have program focused stuff so we have different areas set up for each of the first programs so we'll go look at frc for example we've got wikis set up so this is you can think of it kind of like slow google docs where you, we've got different pages set up you can go in and see what other people have added you can go make edits yourself if you have more stuff you want to throw in here helpful resources you found on the internet or whatever else that you want to throw in here so this is open and accessible to everybody. So all you have to do is come make an account on the playbook and you can start adding stuff here. Um, these are set up so you don't even need an account to be able to look through what's been posted here. Um, so we've got the FRC one is pretty well built out. Um, the FTC wiki is also pretty well built out. Um, another of our statewide FTC leaders. Uh, Peyton Young had a Google Doc that he started a couple years ago where he started kind of doing this same thing. So I've we worked together and pulled out a lot of those resources and reformulated it into this platform. Let's see, And there's a few things in the cross program resources too that are applicable to pretty much all first programs. So there's some educator pieces and uh, youth registration instructions. That's helpful. <laughs> so let's see, and like I said earlier, there's some board of director stuff and event volunteer groups going on in here. I know our first Lego League referee crew use this pretty heavily, as well as our first Lego League tournament directors, rather than trying to send people to 30 different places across first websites, we just pulled all the resources in here so that people knew where they were going and people knew where they could find the important information that they were looking for. So, any questions, comments? I actually was curious to see where our school was put. Am I the region or am I South Bend? So uh, if we click the little eyes here. I kind okay. of semi arbitrarily broke them down by county. So that's where I kind of stuck people. If you if you think that's wrong, by all means, let me know. I'll shift things around. But uh, <laughs> no, nope, that's fine. Yeah, the good thing is you're in the same region as uh, Frank and crew. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I do think that, too, um, it's not hard for us, for example, I know that there's blurred lines when we talk about regional type stuff yeah. and a quick email to Brad or myself or whatever mm -hmm. and said, you know, hey, could I also be plopped into the South Bend region? Yep. Um, we can do that because if you say, hey, I also want to kind of know what's going on over in Elkhart County or 
St. Joseph counties and, and talk to folks over there. Yep. We'll, we'll put you in as many of them as you want. Yeah, I know um, I took a, a big lead off of Brad and, and Peyton Young, who had done a lot of work on the FTC wiki. And really, honestly, a lot of the resources you're going to find on ours are also are, are resources that we kind of went and found from teams that mm -hmm. put a lot out there um, from an FRC perspective, uh, uh, Team Spectrum that there's a lot of resources in our wiki that come from Team Spectrum out of Texas. Of all the FRC teams out there, they're one of the tops in terms of sharing process, sharing you know how they do things and curriculum or how they train or how they, uh, so they're not just developing this stuff internally to make their team better, but they're doing a really fantastic job of putting all of that out there for everybody and say, come learn from us. And you know their their lead mentor also happens to be a Woody Flowers Award winner. So uh, you know, and, and uh, Spectrum also does a really good job every year in terms of uh, you know when you look at how well they do uh, as a team, uh, award winning, strong robot, strong program. Um, yeah. So uh, I, I yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. sorry. No, go ahead. I've I'm just trying to understand this so I can communicate to anyone who I might, you know, mm -hmm. trying to lead this way. Yeah. Uh, as far as the regions go, mm -hmm. any mentor has access to any of the materials on any region or only in their region? So those are locked down. You have to be invited to join those. Okay. So you, what would you be putting in, say, your region specific area? Well, come over and play. Yeah, that's just open communication, Whatever like a mm -hmm. Discord kind of thing, or would they be yeah. putting materials that would be shared just within their region? And what would be an example of that? Yeah, so like I put in ours, like, you know, the weekly dinner invitation, um, talking about like, oh, hey, I need this part, or I need a little bit of extra of this. Does anybody have some spare I could borrow or... Right. You don't want to clutter that in other people's areas just because right. it would yeah. be, yep. you know, you're not yeah. to drive across counties. So yeah. but we have half of we have half a field. Does anybody want to come over and right. practice? Or? or even like, oh, my my guy I've been getting all my t-shirts from for the past 27 years just retired. Who all do the rest of you go through? You know. Yeah. Okay, perfect. And those tend to be pretty hyper local. Yeah, that's yeah. A great. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. That's great. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so those, so if you're familiar at all with Chief Delphi, um, it's Chief Delphi is just straight up a message forum. Mm -hmm. um, and so, really, what Brad did when they and Peyton, when they created those regional areas, really kind of kept them to their message forms. Yeah. Um, and I went in and tried to, you know, ask a few things to kind of prime the, the, the region. Um, mm -hmm. If so, those of you who might not be from Indiana, um, the people in Indiana lovingly refer to the Chicago land region as the region. I've been told by some people, including my cousin, Joe, who lived in Hammond for several decades, we don't call it the region. Um, I'm like, oh, sorry. That's how, wait, what we do. But anyway, so the, um, yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's really just a communication tool. And not only that, but I, what I really like about it is that it's cross program. So it's not FLL coaches in the region, FTC right. coaches in the region, all coaches that uh, want to join in in the, the region would be in there. And so this would also be an opportunity, um, you know, for an FRC team that maybe is starting to look at, hey, let's start coaching an FLL team. Let's they could reach out and say, hey, are there any FLL coaches out there that need a little bit of help? Or an FLL or an FTC team could reach out to an FRC team and say, hey, we need something fabricated or, yeah. 
Yeah, so it's a, it's a good community, hopefully a good community building piece. Um, if you're ever in Lafayette on a Tuesday evening um, <laughs> after 8 p.m., uh, stop by Hunters. And uh, that, how long has that been going on, Brad? 19, 20 years? Oh, it's about 15, I think. 15? But yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and so kind of creating that community of sharing, um, getting to know the other coaches in the area, uh, can be really valuable. Um, yeah. you know, miles, um, you know, you've got kind of in two directions for me, you've got Michigan city, not very far up the road from me. And you've got, um, the new Prairie team. And the nice thing is both of them have got a lot of experience and a lot of, you know, and, uh, and Ralph G at Michigan city has got some pretty cool equipment, water jet cutting and, uh, plasma cutters, laser cutters, things that, um, yeah, that our community is always just really, uh, very open and willing to share. Uh, so yeah. Uh, and I know Brad, you worked, uh, hard on getting this set up and we had, we had tried a couple of different things over the years. And so this year we're just kind of rolling it out, uh, wanting to get people to sign up. Um, so if you, the link here, playbook.firstindianarobotics.org, you go there, sign up for an account. Uh, and we can get you placed into uh, the region you're in. Now, the good thing is, the good news or whatever is, you don't need an account to see the wikis. Um, so if you want to dig into that FRC wiki, it's in there. You don't need an account for that. Yep. There's also, under cross-program resources, there is an entire K-12 standards alignment that we had done uh, for FIRST. Uh, in Indiana. So if, if you start getting any kind of kickback from educators on, you know, what is this you're doing battle bots or whatever? Oh, no, Mr. Principal or Miss Principal click. Uh, it's actually aligned with the Indiana standards. Uh, if you're thinking about, could I roll this into a class? Right. Um, I know we've had a couple of newer teams looking at that. There's a good start. Um, uh, we also, there's a, another document in there too. If you do any computer science related pieces, there is a, com a specific computer science um, alignment. Uh, pass those on, by the way, down to, if you know any other teachers in your district that are elementary, middle school, et cetera, uh, those computer science pass standards pass on down and say, hey, first Lego League challenge, uh, see how that addresses the standards. Yeah. Uh, yeah Miles? The wikis, I can't find them. I followed the link. I'm in my courses and I've gone through home dashboard, everything, and I didn't see any of the, the wiki stuff. Right. Does that link work? Check that link in the chat. That was it. Yay. Perfect. Okay. Bookmark it. Right. <laughs> um, yeah. And by the way, FRC coaches, um, something you might want to take a look at if you're still kind of in prototyping or, or your kids are still trying to come up with stuff, have them look at the FTC game uh, because believe it or not, um, uh, the FTC game is stacking cones on poles. Uh, and one of the elements that you're building is a robot that can stack cones on poles. Uh, and on kickoff day, I stopped in on a couple teams and uh, saw them watching FTC videos and it warmed my heart. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Um, that any other questions, they don't have to be um, playbook related. It can be anything related. If, if we have the answer, great. If not, uh, I will make it my job to go find it. I am having real trouble as far as I don't know a lot about programming mm -hmm. and I don't have any students that know a lot about. Mm -hmm. programming. Mm -hmm. So as far as building this robot, I could pull it off in a couple of days, but I can't make it move. <laughs> Where do I go to figure out how to make the thing move? I'm going to go send you a link. which hopefully you stumbled upon, but uh, maybe not. Is so that bad? right there is the official starting from scratch, you know nothing about programming a robot. Here is the step-by-step, -step. here's some links to some external tutorials about the different languages to get you started with those to 
here's how to make sure you, your real basic control system stuff is wired and hooked up correctly to here's how to get the software installed and start getting your code deployed and running with it. Yes, we have not been able to pull off any of that yet. We've been trying okay. to it over. All right. So, so there's that documentation piece. And again, it sounds like you've got a couple of experienced teams in your area. Don't hesitate to reach out to them or reach out to Chris or myself, and we can help make those connections and get you up and running. Sounds yeah, good. I think, yeah, I think the big thing is by starting with the WPI library, um, and, and that's another one to bookmark because that is uh, Worcester Polytechnic Institute. They do run the, the official coding library for first for FRC. And so um, making sure every year you're diving into that, just getting the um, just getting the driver software installed correctly and everything on the computer we know is is quite a process. Um, and there are quite a few step-by-step, uh, -step, you know, there are some instructions in here. But what I would definitely do is um, definitely reach out to Frank at uh, Las Pumas and, um, and or Ralph at Michigan City. Uh, they'll be able to help you out quite a bit. Um, the, I, th there are some alum that are at Valparaiso University right now. So I know if you reached out to Doug Tugaw, um, the dean, uh, I could send, um, I don't know if you've ever met Dr. Tuga. Uh, I can send you, I can email, introduce you to him and we can see if there, he can ask around to see if there are any FRC alum that could maybe come out and help you too. We're actually going to meet him this Saturday. Good. You guys are going good. Yeah. I know that they had done some sponsorship for all the teams in the region and they were going to help with some design review things too. Yeah. So I definitely ask, um, if you have a chance to get in front of any of the students, uh, this is a great opportunity to really uh, lure them in to help mentor. Um, I think they would be, I think there's quite a few students there, even if they don't have first experience. I think if they, if they saw what you were doing, they'd go nuts and be like, wait, I can help you guys do that. That'd be so. Yeah. yeah. Cause being right next to Purdue, I have the benefit of having lots of college student mentors and, Quality can vary sometimes, but it is a fantastic resource to be able to tap into those recent first alumni and gain a lot of valuable knowledge out of their experience. I would even recommend if if you come across any alum, uh, and I can, I'll, I'm still going to ask Dr. Tuga, I'll send him an email, um, even if they've done first tech challenge, yeah. um, first tech challenge coding sometimes is a, he a bit of a heavier lift. Uh, just because there isn't anything like the WPI library uh, as as robust anyway for FTC teams. And so a lot of those kids who do a lot of that coding to then have this put in front of them could probably pretty quickly um, pick it up. But yeah, Frank and his team and, and any of his coders are going to be a big help. I mean, they're I know that they're going to be doing a lot to help you guys this year. I hope they are. <laughs> Um, all right. Well, 